Hi, Dr. Tyler Williams back here today. Uh, I've had a lot of questions lately about Medicare and dental coverage and what my senior patients can do, uh, many who are moving to fixed incomes or uh, partially retiring. And first of all, I want to congratulate you on moving into uh, what some call the golden years of life. Uh, I've heard life gets busier for many of us uh, when we retire. And I know you have a lot of things planned, probably vacations or hobbies, gardening, uh, maybe traveling or spending more time with family, which is a great opportunity. You know, I've never been retired, but uh, I've been on a fixed income. When I uh, got into dental school, I signed up for four years, uh, wasn't able to work. Uh, my wife worked a bit part-time, but um, I was unemployed for four years on a fixed income. Uh, I borrowed about $300,000 to pay for tuition mostly and a little bit of living expenses as well. And uh, even though it was a great opportunity, I did learn about uh, you know what it was like to be on a fixed income. So there are some changes, uh, Medicare, uh, cuts are somewhere in the ballpark of 256 million dollars and that's going to be a big deal uh, as we all know healthcare costs are going up so we don't see any uh, boost to dental coverage for Medicare anytime soon now uh, original Medicare and Medigap they do not cover any dental services other than rare rare exceptions such as uh, certain times if a tooth removal is life-threatening. Uh, Medicare Advantage does cover a limited amount of devil, dental services, uh, mainly in the way of uh, something like an exam or some x-rays, uh, possibly a preventative cleaning. But, you know, so many uh, seniors need much, much more. Uh, many of my senior patients need things like implants, crowns, bonded fillings, root canals, tooth removal, bridges, and dentures or partials, uh, even sleep apnea treatment. And unfortunately, Medicare doesn't cover this. So uh, there are three options you have as far as benefits. Uh, one, you could go with the Medicare Advantage plan. Uh, second would be is going for traditional uh, dental insurance. You could go out to the marketplace. And the third, would be uh, an in-office savings plan. So briefly to cover those three things, uh, Medicare Advantage uh, that I touched on earlier, if that's an option for you, uh, you know, I would encourage you to choose a PPO type plan over an HMO type plan if you have the option. And also know that the benefits are gonna be minimal, but you know, if it's only a few dollars a month and uh, you've checked out what your needs are, that could be an option for you. Second, be going to the marketplace. Um, if you've had an employer-sponsored plan in the past and you're moving to a Medicare-type plan, be prepared for a big change. Um, employer-sponsored plans usually have much better coverage compared to a Medicare plan. And you know, once again, know what what you what your needs are because they may not be met by your plan. Uh, the third would be an in-office savings plan. The downside to these is uh, usually you're going to be limited to one dental office, but if you're comfortable with your dentist and the services, then an in-office savings plan works really well. I have many patients on this, and we've done thousands of procedures for our Medicare patients, and, and these type of plans work really well. Uh, five things you should know about as a senior uh, changing um, is the CDC has reported uh, that changes for aging seniors are a big deal for oral health. And there are five areas that I wanna talk about briefly. Uh, the first one is oral cancer. This is on the rise in non-smokers and in seniors. And many people ask why, and there's some different factors. Uh, there are different viruses like HPV. There's environment, genetics, uh, Poor fitting appliances like a denture can cause irritation ulcers that can become precancerous and then cancerous. So make sure you see a qualified dental professional at least once a year to have an annual oral cancer screening. They're painless. 
They only take a few minutes and they're very cost effective. The second area is tooth decay. Uh, seniors are on the rise for tooth decay. There are a couple of reasons why, but uh, if you've had crowns or a lot of dental work over the years, um, or you have any uh, exposed roots, those areas are much more susceptible to decay than they used to be. Uh, third one is dry mouth. We call it xerostomia. That's spelled with an X. And uh, xerostomia is really a huge problem. Medications are the main culprit. I recently got a report that was 23 pages long and it covered common medications that cause dry mouth. You may not notice the changes happening right away, but dry mouth robs the calcium out of your teeth and roots. So even if you've had caps or fillings done, uh, all that work you've had over the years is susceptible to fracture or break because dry mouth will cause the calcium to be lost from your teeth and roots. Uh, the fourth one is periodontal disease. That's gum disease. Half of adults uh, suffer with gum disease, and it's actually the leading cause of tooth loss in adults. Now in seniors, that jumps up to 70%. And periodontal disease uh, cannot and should not be treated like a regular preventative cleaning. So going back to, to plans is you'll want to consider if periodontal treatment is covered because uh, almost three out of four seniors suffer with gum disease and, uh, and because it's not covered under preventative, uh, it may not be a benefit on your plan. Uh, the fifth way that seniors should look out for is um, sleep apnea. Now sleep apnea can be often combined with teeth grinding or acid reflux and dry mouth. And uh, this combination is really destructive on teeth. In fact, uh, teeth can wear away and age 10 to 30 times faster if this uh, unfortunate package of harmful teeth uh, symptoms and, and conditions are present. So if you have sleep apnea, make sure you're wearing a CPAP or you can see a qualified dentist about an oral appliance. Uh, there are also some good uh, supplements. I like Xylomelts. Um, they're made by Orico. You can find them online or at the pharmacy. And these are really good lozenges to put in your mouth at bedtime. They slowly dissolve and they release xylitol, which is a mouth-friendly sugar that can help strengthen your teeth. And they're much, much better than hard candies or even sugar-free candies, which often contain a lot of preservatives and are not good on teeth. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about senior health, you can click on the link below. I'll also put some links for some of the supplements that uh, I like to use personally and that have really helped many of my senior patients uh, and hope that helps you out and the goal in the end is to save your smile for years to come so you can enjoy retirement and once again hope this has been helpful for you have a great day